you guys, I'm Alexandra Brennan with Express Yoga. We're here for lower body level two now. So we're gonna get started in tabletop position once again. So again, remember your wrists are right below your shoulders, knees right below your hips. And we're just gonna do three rounds this time. So as you inhale, drop your belly, your tailbone and your gaze go up towards the ceiling. And then as you exhale, round your spine, chin being the very last to tuck. Two more times with your own breath. Just kind of tuning in, seeing how your back's doing today. Last time. And then we'll meet back in tabletop. So we're gonna work on a little bit of strengthening for a second. So as you inhale, we're gonna send your right foot straight up and back, keeping both hip pointers pointed towards your mat and all five toes pointed. Now, if this is good for you here, you can stay. If you want to take it a step further, you can extend your left arm out in front of you for spinal balance. So your back heel is pointed strongly back and the crown of your head is reaching forward wherever you are. Core engaged. And then slowly start to drop your left hand down onto your mat. Now if you want to stay here or if you want to draw your right foot over towards the left side of your mat, planting that foot down, you're going to bring your gaze back to meet it. So you'll feel an opening in your right side. About three breath cycles here. And then inhale, we're going to draw that foot back through a tabletop. Take a moment to find that foundation and table once again so you, you're sturdy enough to move on. And then as you inhale, we're going to lift that, right, that left leg straight up and back. Again, all five toes pointed towards the mat. Either staying here or extending your right arm out in front of you. And your gaze is on that, that hand planted on the mat. Core engaged and then slowly, right hand goes down. Left foot stays up and we're gonna draw that foot over towards the right side. Gaze goes back to meet it. Three breath cycles. And then inhale back through center. Tabletop position. We're gonna push back into a uh, wide leg child's pose for a couple of breaths. So big toes touching, knees apart. Exhale, push back. Again, if you wanna work on the shoulders a bit, tent those fingers, cupcakes under the hands, stack the money, whatever makes you happy. And as you inhale, move through tabletop. We're gonna tuck your toes and we're gonna lift your hips up and back, down dog. So if you need to take a few breaths here to kind of warm up your dog, bend one knee at a time. And if the whole time you need a slight bend in your knees, again, we're meeting your body where it's at today, placing no expectations. And take a moment to bend both knees, draw your torso towards your thighs, and then straighten the legs back out. This is gonna create a bit more opening through the chest. And then slowly, we're going to walk your hands back towards your feet and do a fold at the back of your mat. So maybe your legs are straight here, maybe the knees are bent. See how your hamstrings feel. Breathing into the legs, allowing your arms to release down. And again, we're going to move through a flow that kind of works on the strengthening and stretching of the body. So inhale to a flat back. Your gaze is going to go out in front of you and your hands are going to go onto your shins. Exhale, fold forward. We're going to bend your knees, sink your hips back. Inhale up, chair pose. So your hands here can either be extended up or at heart center. And then just passing through. Inhale, extend your arms up, straighten your legs. Exhale, start to fold forward. So you're going to move through that flow two more times. Inhale to a flat back, exhale, fold. Bend your knees, sink your hips back, inhale up. Weight is more into the heels here. Inhale, straighten, exhale, fold forward. And last time, inhale, gaze out in front of you. Exhale, fold. Inhale up, chair pose. Maybe you smile here, this is not everybody's favorite pose. Inhale, extend your arms up. 
And then this time, as you exhale, we're gonna bring your hands to your hips. I'm gonna move forward a bit on your mat, maybe. So from here at standing, with your hands on your hips, we're gonna take a step back with your right foot, but just enough to where all 10 toes can be facing the front of your mat. As you inhale, you're gonna lengthen your spine, and we're gonna slightly tuck your tailbone inward. And then exhale, you're gonna to start to hinge forward from your hips, just as far as you can go. Maybe you keep your hands on your hips. Maybe you allow them to fall towards your mat. We're going to take about three breath cycles here. And resting your shoulders, not holding tight. And then hands to your hips. Inhale all the way up to standing. And then we're going to take a step forward with that right foot. We're going to move on to the left side. So step back with your left foot, all ten toes forward. Hip pointers facing the front. Inhale, tuck the tailbone. Exhale, hinging forward. Starting off with the flat back and then allowing yourself to release in. Each inhale, lengthening your spine just a bit more. And then each exhale, allowing yourself to fall just a bit deeper. Hands to your hips. Inhale all the way up to standing. Step forward with your left foot. And then from here, I'm going to meet you guys in a seated position. We're going to go into a butterfly fold. So a lot of people, when they go into this, uh, they try to get their heels as close to them as they can. But actually, you get a lot of benefits from having your heels just a little further out. So wherever feels most comfortable for you, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, slowly start to walk yourself forward. We're going to be here for four breaths. Allowing your knees to drop towards the earth. Feeling that opening in your hips. One more breath cycle. Inhale, slowly start to walk yourself up. You're going to recline back up to your back. So this time, I want your heels as close to your sits bones as you can get them, about hips width distance apart. Hands beside your hips, so the shoulders tucked under together and slightly down. And then as you inhale, we're gonna lift your hips, almost like you have a block in between your thighs. So you're engaging your inner thighs here. Exhale, one vertebrae at a time. Slowly start to roll your hips down. Inhale, lift your hips up. Exhale, lower. Last time, so make it count. As you inhale, lift your hips up. We can take two breath cycles here. And then exhale slowly as you can. We're not in any rush. We're going to extend both heels towards the front of your mat. Now, if it's more comfortable for you to have both feet on the mat, don't worry about it. You can modify this. We're going to extend your arms above your head. I'm going to have you walk your feet over towards the right corner of your mat. Now, if this is good and you feel enough of a stretch in your left hip, you can stay here. If you want to take it a bit further, you're going to start to walk your upper body towards the right side as well. So again, we're feeling a lengthening in the left side, but we're still keeping that right side nice and open. Three breaths. And then to make your way back through center, start with your upper body and then your lower body. We'll walk the feet over towards the left corner of your mat. You stay here on the other side. If you want to take your upper body over, maybe the two sides feel different, that's okay. And starting with your upper body and your lower. And if you want to take a moment to hug your knees into your chest, if you just want to bring the soles of your feet down onto your mat, maybe just windshield wiper the knees. And then from here, you can roll over to your right side, push yourself up. 
And that's it for Express Yoga Lower Body Level 2. I'm Alexandra Brennan, Express Your Health with Express Yoga.